Mechanics, lecture one. Let's get started now. Okay, mm, the screen looks a little bit messed up though. I guess we'll do fine. Ah, I don't know why there's a bit of a black bit at the end. No big deal, I suppose. Okay, dimensions and units. So if you, you take out your notebooks, we'll get started. You'll need a pen for studying in the future. Great, okay. Now actually, before you start, I should say, for keeping notes, I don't think it works to have one notebook for all your subjects. My experience is it doesn't work. So whatever you're going to use for your physics, only put physics in that, okay? Um, uh, you're, you have that, you have that, yeah, that's all fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if you can write that down, uh, dimensions and units, that's what we'll look at. Ah, I see, you have pen and she has paper, so together <laughs> is one complete unit. Now, um, the physics is kind of a mixture of, of, of handwritten notes and slides. Now, you don't have to write every single thing from a slide, okay? Some things I'll tell you are more important than others, you know? Some things like definitions, of course, you should write definitions down. Um, sometimes I might say something which is not on the slide, but you think, you know, oh, that's actually interesting, I didn't know that, and maybe you want to write a note. You see, when you go to university, you know, you won't be given books. You'll have to learn how to take notes. And sometimes that means knowing what to write down and what not to write down. Okay. So anyway, um, this is just sort of the things we're going to have a look at. Um, we're going to have a look at units, SI units, prefixes, all that stuff. So anyway, let's get started here. Uh, this isn't a definition. This is just to lead us in. So we use this word unit. And what exactly do we mean by unit? So by unit, we mean a system. Uh, for for measuring for measuring quantities, and we have what's called three fundamental dimensions. So just before we continue, just to, to clear up the difference a little bit, um, a dimension is the thing that you're measuring. What you want to measure is a dimension. So if I want to measure the length, that's called a dimension. The length is a dimension. But how I measure it is called a unit. So, for example, if I use meters, meters are units, okay? So there are three fundamental dimensions. Maybe you want to make note of that. The three fundament fundamental dimensions are length, mass, and time. They're the three basic dimensions for physics. Length, mass, and time. Now... Maybe, maybe you didn't know that, you know, because it's, it's not clear what are the basic dimensions here. For example, um, the meter is the unit, and that's for measuring the length, which is the dimension. And there's other dimensions too, but you can make those dimensions from using the three fundamental dimensions. So, for example, area is length squared. So, the... the uh, the area would be measured in meters squared. Okay, so you can use length to make something else, which is area, which is length squared. Anyway, uh, the size of the unit is what we call the magnitude. So magnitude means how much. So you know, what's the magnitude of the length? Is how big is the length? What's the size of it? Okay, so magnitude means you know, how much size. So you've got a couple of key words here. Unit. Fundamental dimension and magnitude. So they're the kind of the key words for this slide. So make some notes if you didn't know these words, and then we'll continue. Um, everybody is happy with those three words: uh, unit, 
dimension, and magnitude. Are these new words? No. Now, you know these three before? Yeah? Yeah, okay, good, good. Right. So, international system of units is what's also called the metric system, and it's how we measure in uh, most countries, although there are two countries that don't use this. Um, do we know which two countries don't use the America. metric? America is one, and the other one? What's the other one? Australia? No, 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 no. It's like... China. No, no, no. You know, you use meters in China, don't you? It depends on no, it's something like Somalia or Afghanistan or, or something like this. I don't remember. I'll have to check. Anyway, uh, two countries that don't use it only. So, there's seven basic units in this system. And I've already mentioned one of them. The meter is one of the seven units. Do you know any other units in this system? So, uh, this, uh, seven units. We know one already, the meter. What else? Kilograms. Kilograms, another one, yeah. Oh, that's two. Liter? No, actually. That's not one of the basic seven. Yeah? Kilogram? Meter? What else could there be? Min minutes? Not minutes, but seconds. Yeah. Seconds, yeah. Celsius. Yep, or Kelvin. Yeah, so that's four. It's good. A couple more. Not actually a basic unit. Not a basic unit. Yeah? Any more? Celsius? Yeah, he said Celsius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have that one, yeah. Anything else? No? Let's have a look. So, first one here is the meter. We use the lar M for that. And what does that measure? Dimension. Yeah, the dimension it measures is length. Okay. Uh, the kilogram. And what does that measure? Yeah. It measures mass. Yeah. The second, and that measures time. Okay. Next now, the amp, ampere, current. yep, that measures current, and the unit for current is I, yep. you know it now, you've heard of it, yeah, I'm sure you all have heard of uh, ampere, yes. okay, next, the Kelvin, which measures temperature, the symbol for temperature is theta, so it's not to be confused with time. Okay, anyone else want to make another guess of what they think the next ones might be? No? No? The mole? Ah, uh, but what does the mole measure? If you've seen this before, what does it measure? Chemical compounds, right? Yeah, but exactly what? Like if I said one mole, what does that mean? Atomic mass? Close, yeah. not quite, not quite. I know it's in chemistry. It is in chemistry for sure. Mm -hmm. I like it. Uh, in fact, it's not as difficult as you think. The mole just measures the dimension of substance, meaning it just tells you how many you have. So if you have a mole of something, it, it just is telling you how much of it you have. And the last one, I wonder if anyone has heard of this, called the candela. No, the candela measures what's called luminosity. Um, which is basically brightness, how bright like a light is, or the sun, or whatever. So it's a, it's a brightness measure. And the unit, or the symbol for that dimension is J. Okay, so you'll, you'll need to know these seven. Um, who said the Newton, actually? You said the Newton, yeah. So the Newton, obviously, is a unit, but it's not part of the group we call the, the basic seven. Um, it's actually a trick question at university. Sometimes professors have on a multiple choice exam, they would say the Newton is one of the basic seven, true or false. So it's, it's one of the, it's a, it's a common trick question at university. Because people think it should be because it's so important, but it's, it's not actually. Uh, okay, can I go to the next slide? Yeah. Do you have everything here? Yeah. yeah. Right, now, quantities of the same dimension, dimension may be compared or equated. So what I mean by that is, you know, 
you can say something like 5 meters is less than 6 meters. And the reason you can do that is because it's the same unit. That's the reason you can do that. Or you could say 1 meter plus 1 meter equals 2 meters. You can only do that because it's the same dimension, the same unit. So quantities of the same dimension may be compared or equated as it can be added or subtracted, multiplied or divided. So you can obviously do 1 meter divided by 1 meter. You, know, you can do that, that's fine. But of different dimensions, you cannot add or subtract. And again, you probably know this. I mean, you cannot say 1 meter plus 1 kilogram equals what? You know, just, you can't, you're not even allowed to do that. And I, again, I think you all know this. But quantities of different dimension, you can actually multiply them or divide them. So in fact, you can say 1 meter multiplied by 1 kilogram. You actually can do that. You're allowed to do that. What would that actually be? One what? Yeah, one uh, meter kilogram or kilogram meter, yeah. Yeah, so you're allowed to do that. That's no problem. And it actually makes it more sense if I wrote one meter divided by one second. What would that be? Meter per second. Yeah, one meter per second. I think we all know this, right? This is familiar stuff. So let's just do this one together. Which ones are valid and which ones are invalid? So the first one, valid or invalid? Valid. It's valid, yeah. Five meters plus two meters, that's fine. Uh, the second one, five meters is bigger than two meters. Valid. That's valid. Uh, two hours is bigger than one kilogram? No, no. Uh, X is three kilograms divided by two meters cubed. That's valid. 5 meters plus 2 kilograms? Invalid. And 5 meters multiply 2 kilograms? That's valid then. Okay, no, so no problems here. Okay, what are the dimensions of each of the following? And X is a length, M is a mass. So uh, this symbol here means dimension. So dimension of X is length, and dimension of M is mass. I'm going to give you one or two minutes. I want you to tell me what the dimension of W, A, B and Rho is. I want you to work out the dimension. And the only clues I give you is I tell you what X is and I'll tell, I tell you what M is. Uh, let's just do the first one together. Who knows what the dimension of W is? Yeah, no, but why? Yeah, but what about Y and Z? What dimensions are they? They must be the same because you're adding them. So they all have to be length if X is length, which means W has to be length then. Yeah, you get the idea? Yeah, okay, so just take one minute. I want you to write the answers down for this. Let's see if you can get it. So I want the dimension the dimension, not the unit. Oh, and you can use your answer from the last part if you need to. So we know. Oh, yeah. It can mm. ca continue. like we're nearly finished. Okay, uh, you're thinking about the last one. Yeah. And for you finished or am I Last one. That's a little bit of a mistake. That should be a big V here, if that's confusing you. 
I'm about to fix that. Okay, let's have a look at the answers. We'll do it together. Right. Um, Siba. Uh, what is we we said this one already. So what's B? Area. Yeah, but uh, but only using length, mass, and time. So Meter squared. I don't know. Careful. That's the unit. I want the dimension. Length squared, length squared, yeah. You have the right idea. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is just for the vocabulary. So length squared, which is area. That is true. That is true. Um, okay, Kim, were you able to get the next one? Yeah. So what's B? Would you say length? Or maybe something else? What do you think? Dimension? Yeah. Dimension, yeah. That's it, volume. Uh, and again, just like with, with, with Simba, um, volume is correct, but only using the word length, what would you say? So for example, with her, um, you said, yeah, you said area, but that's actually length squared. Uh, and you said volume, which is right, but what would you call that one? Length yeah, what's the word for that? Do you know? Yeah, it's a new word for you. Cubed is the word for that one. Yeah. And this one is squared. What's four then? What's it called? Go on. You want to say something? No, I'm thinking it might be. But what do you think it might be? I remember in high school we used power four. That's it. You are correct. <laughs> yeah, it is power four. <laughs> because after four it just goes power, power n. n. Yeah, mm. yeah. It's only the first two that have a special name. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, so did you figure out, uh, George, what the last one is? Yeah. Yeah, you think you figured it out? What do you think it is? Power. Yeah, but just you're making it a little bit more difficult. I just actually need you to use the word length, mass, and time. So what did you say? Yeah, that's true, but it doesn't sound beautiful. Um, I would say it as mass per length cubed yeah but you are right ml minus power minus 3 is correct yeah were you trying to figure out what that thing is yeah you made it much harder i just needed you to say this yeah. that's all yeah you don't look happy with this kim is okay yeah. okay next so it's the same, except this time uh, I want the unit. Uh, and I think we'll do this one together, because it's the same question. So the first one we said is length. What unit is that? How do we measure length? Meters, meters yeah. And the second one? Meters squared. And the third one? Meters cubed. And the fourth one? Not meters, be careful. It's an M. M is mass in this one, yeah. Kilograms? That's it. Kilograms per meter cubed is the last one. Okay. Uh, just write those units down beside your answer. So it's meters, meter squared, meter cubed, and finally kilograms per meter cubed. Okay. So I don't forget. Let me just fix that mistake with the V. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Is this okay? I feel a little bit of confusion. Is it just the English? Or is there yeah. something... Is it okay? Are you sure? You wouldn't lie to me on the first day, would you? Okay. Next now. So, um, our first definition. We have this thing called density. And it's a measure of mass per volume. 
And the symbol for it is this Greek letter called Rho. What exactly is density, if, if anybody knows this word? Has anybody seen this word before, density? Density? Yeah, how would you describe density? How much of mass yeah. is in... Uh, That's it, it's like how much mass is packed into something. Yeah. So, um, the formal definition as a formula is simply density is mass divided by volume. And because of that, the unit is mass per meter cubed, density unit is mass per meter cubed, ml minus 3, uh, and the units are kilogram per meter cubed, also written as kg m minus 3. Now, some people write it like this, with the, the slash, and some people write it with the minus. So for you in school, did you write it with a slash or with a minus? Slash, slash. and for you? Minus. 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 Ah, 50-50. Okay. For this course, we try to use minus. Okay, so we'll try not to use the slash uh, because the normal thing nowadays in most physics books is to use the minus. Okay, so if we can try to remember that for the exam. Okay, so you'll need to write this uh, definition down. So please write down carefully. Now you don't need to write both, so you can just write the minus one and the minus one here. physics in English before? You did it through English then? I did English. Yeah, oh, but your physics classes were in English, yeah. You too? Yeah. Okay, great. And for you? Oh really, okay. So the vocabulary is not so difficult then for you. Yeah, and Kim? New, new words? Yeah. 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 Make sure you stop me if there's a word you don't know, please. Okay. Because these three won't stop me because they they know these words so uh, right can I continue if you got that yeah okay right so here's a, an example we'll do together what is the density of water if one liter has a mass of one kilogram and a thousand liters is one meter cubed I want the density of water okay so we'll do this one together uh, so I have one litre of water, okay, so it, this is a, a simple one. Uh, density is mass over volume. Now the mass is actually easy because it's one litre, I said one litre is one kilogram. The heck? Um, the volume is not so clear. We'll have to think about what the volume is. Uh, I tell you though that 1,000 litres is one metre cubed. So what would one litre equal in metre cubed? Yeah. How did you get that? Yeah, divide by 1,000. So one litre is 0 0.001 metre cubed. So I can go back here. Um, and I can say 1 over 0 0.001 and the answer here would be 1000 kilograms per meter cubed is the answer here okay which is you know that's actually pretty dense a thousand kilograms per meter cubed pretty dense. it's a very simple example if you can write that down as a simple example there Now I should tell you, the litre, you use that in chemistry, don't you? Litres, milliliters, you use this in chemistry. Believe it or not, uh, the litre is not uh, SI unit. It's not 
a metric unit. Do you know what I mean? It's actually not a, a proper unit. It's like a, it's like a, an old unit. So you really shouldn't be using liters. The problem is so many people still use liters. You know, um, instead of using liters, it would be better to use a unit like centimeters cubed. It would be more appropriate. But so many people still use liters. Uh, okay, continue. But would it be wrong to use liters in an exam? Ah, uh, I wouldn't, wouldn't take any marks away. I wouldn't be. Depends what you mean by wrong. <laughs> um, it depends on how strict your teacher is. You know, I think most would be flexible because liters are still so commonly used. You know, um, if you use inches or feet, you'll be punished for that <laughs> or miles. <laughs> uh, okay. Now we can make units bigger or smaller by using something called a prefix. Does anybody know what I'm talking about here? What a, a prefix is? You like a power. Can you give me an example of a prefix if you know one? Yeah, centi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would be an example. So we'll start with the biggest and go to the smallest. So our first prefix we have. Well, actually, before we start, I'll give you a simple one. Kilogram. Kilo means. 1,000, so 1,000 grams. A kilometer, 1,000 meters. Uh, 100 centimeters is a meter. Now, you know, you don't need to write these down because I'm going to give you a table now. Um, okay, so let's have a look at what the ones we, we need for the course. So the first one we'll have is giga. Does anyone know how big giga is? 1,000. Ah, no, no, more than... Now, I know why you said 1,000, because you're thinking about gigabytes, yeah. which is 1,000 megabytes, but it's not 1,000 bytes. Yeah, so, good try. I know you said 1,000, but it's more than 1,000. Now, you know how big it is? How many zeros? One, zero, zero, zero. How many zeros? Nine zeros. Nine zeros, very good. It's written by G, 10 to the 9. This many. What's the English word for this number? If you have nine zeros? Nano? No, just like the normal English word. Like if you won this much money, how much is that? Mm -hmm. Ah, no, it's not that much now. A trillion. Uh, no, not billion. as much as a trillion. Billion? Billion. Billion, yeah. Billion. Billion. yeah. yeah. Uh, what is the next one after giga? Smaller than giga. If you think about your hard drive and your computer, you might figure it out. Mega. Mega. How many zeros? Eight. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. No, less, less. Six. Mm. And what's the English word for this number? Six zeros. Mm. Million. Yeah. Good. Good, good. Next. I think you know this one. Yeah. No, no, you're going bigger. We need to go smaller. <laughs> Terra, Terra is after Giga. Kilo. Kilo. And the letter? Obviously, it's a K. Okay. Ten to the tree, which is obviously a thousand. Yeah? Small K. Small K. Next, uh, now we get into the small one. So we start off with Sentai. Uh, what's the letter for centi? C. C. And how big is that now? Six. Yeah, but like what what power do I have? Six. Ten six. power? Six. No, not one. And not minus three. Or okay. Minus two. Because it's a one hundred. Mm. What's smaller than centi? Mm. Yep, the latter. Mm hmm And the power? Yeah, go on. Three? Yeah. All right, now it's getting more interesting. What's smaller than milli? Micro. Micro. The latter? I don't remember. Yeah, the Greek letter, what's it called? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows their Greek letters? 
What's this Greek letter? It does look like a U. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No one knows the Greek letters? Ah. This Greek letter is called mu. You'll need to learn your Greek letters in physics because they're used, you know. They're used a lot. Uh, how big is this? What power? No, it's smaller than that actually. It, it looks like it should be minus 4 because of the order, but it's actually smaller than that. Minus 6, yeah. See, I thought you might know this one because there's a torrent program called Mu Torrent. No? Which torrent program do you oh, use? You know the one I'm talking The green one, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mu Torrent. I don't look that much. Okay. <laughs> You didn't know it. <laughs> You'll know this now. Oh, what, what, what one do you use? It has the same logo, right? Yeah. 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 You use this one? Yeah, yeah MuTorrent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But a lot of people call it MuTorrent. Yeah, yeah, but it's not! Because it's, it's, it's the wrong letter. <laughs> uh, and what's that smaller than micro? Nano. Nano? And how big is that? Nine. nine. Yeah, minus nine. Okay. These are the ones... Now, of course, there's more than this. Now, these are just the ones we use a lot. Uh, these are the ones you will need to know for the exam. They, they'd expect students to, to know this if they use them in a question. Okay, did you write all of those down? You got them? Yeah? Okay. Now, um, some of you might have bad habits from your physics teacher, which I need to break right now. So, so, in physics class at high school, you would have had to convert, you know, miles to kilometers, meter cubed to centimeter cubed, and you might have learned some very bad habits, like, oh, to convert from this to this, you just multiply by 100. This seems sounding familiar. Mm -hmm. Or to convert from here to here, you just divide, you know. I don't like this, because the problem with this is, you have to learn a big list of rules of how to convert. It, it's not helpful because what do you do if I give you something you haven't seen before? Like, how do you convert millimeter squared into kilometer squared? You know? So I kind of want to show you a, a process that I feel is more useful. So as an example, we'll do this one. We'll convert 50 kilometers an hour into meters per second. Uh, and then part two, miles per hour. But first we'll do kilometers per hour into meters per second. Now how would you do that? So you might be thinking, oh how do I do that? Well a kilometer and a meter, there's a thousand, so do I divide by a thousand? It's not clear. I, I want to show you exactly how to do it. So if you can write this example down carefully. So we'll start off with 50 kilometers uh, per hour. Okay. So we'll write that as 50 kilometers over hours. Now, here's my little trick. I really like to think of the prefix as being separate. So that's kilometer over hour. And I really like to think of this as if it was a constant, that it had a value. What value does this have? It has a value of a thousand. So it's like 50 yeah. times a thousand, yeah, times meter over hour. Now, hour is no good because we need seconds, but we actually know. I know, careful, not 60, you're thinking of minutes. 3, yeah, 3,600. So we can change hour into 3,600 seconds. Now that's really good because actually if you look carefully you'll see we have the unit that we want, meters and seconds. <sighs> 50,000 divided by 3,600. Uh, what's 500 divided by 36? Was 16.6? Someone with a calculator, I'd appreciate if you could. 
You got a calculator? Be great. I can open up mine, but it'll take a minute to load. Ah, uh, no one has a calculator. I didn't get mine yet. Oh, it's brand new and fresh. That's okay. This will do fine. Where did you buy it? Great. Uh, I need five hundred divided by thirty-six. Oh, and press the SD button. Can you see it? It's beside AC. Yeah, you see the SD button? What have you done? Here, look, look, look. It's working now. 500 divided by 36. You got this. Yeah. But you can press this button. Thirteen point eight eight. Now, in the exam, thirteen. Oh, change yourself. Eighteen. Thirteen point eight eight, etc., etc., etc. In right. yeah, in the exam, for your final answer, they like you to use three SS, meaning you you go one, two, three digits. So the answer would be thirteen point eight. Oh, sorry, no, 13.9 meters per second will be the final answer. Well, what if I use more than three The person, oh, I don't. The person in Manchester who writes the exam, he's very, very strict, strict on this. He wants three and exactly three not more not less okay so for me it's okay but for him it's not so for the final exam it has to be exactly and only three that's all that's acceptable so you so if your number is greater than three let's say yep. if it was to be four you you'd multiply that by ten yeah like what what do you mean give me an example like let's say if it was 1388 1388 yes. becomes 1390 I'd rather even if it's not accurate. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th there's the significant figures at that. Okay. You use one, two, three digits in the front. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So the last one could be zero? The fourth one can be zero? Oh, yeah, you can have as many zeros after the third one as you like. So, like, for example, something like 1.2, you should write it as 1.20. You know, yeah. He's very, very strict about this. He's very, very strict only about this. Only in physics, or only in physics. Well, I mean, it'll be different for each subject. They're a bit more flexible, like in maths and chemistry. But for physics, he's very strict about this. So, um, in the exam, remember this. I'll remind you at the start of the exam as well. Okay. Right. Next part now. I said I want it into miles per hour. And I said a mile is 1.61 kilometers. So let's have a look at doing that now. So next example. 50 kilometers per hour. That's actually good because we're already half finished. We already have hours. Uh, the only problem now is we need miles on the top, not uh, kilometers. Well, how can we how can we figure that? Because we need 1.61 kilometers to have a mile. So here's my little trick. If I put a 1.61 here and a 1.61 here, they actually cancel. So have I changed anything? No, I haven't. But if you look at this, what has this become? A mile. It's a mile. So you can actually say this is. 50 over 1.61, one, sorry, miles over hours. 
So now my answer is it's 50 divided by 1.61. What the heck? 31.1 miles per hour is usually how they write it, MPH. So this is kind of like a trick. You kind of uh, introduce the 1.61 like this. Are we okay with this example? Because I think we'll do harder ones now. Now this is much harder. Convert 50 centimeters squared into meter squared. Now that's actually, that's much harder. It's harder than it might seem. 50 centimeters squared into, into meter squared. Okay. Now, before I start, something very important. Okay. In math, if I say x, y squared, I mean x multiplied by y squared like this. Okay. If I say x, y squared like that, I would mean x squared multiplied by y squared. Okay. But when we talk about units, when I write cm squared, I do not mean c multiply m squared. I do actually mean cm all squared. Now that might look a bit strange because in math class, if you had xy squared, it means x no square and y has a square. But when we're talking about units, the square actually is on both, like there was a bracket here. Okay, you just need to be careful with that. All right. So that's my warning. Okay, let's go back here. Okay, so now that I said that, it actually might be easier to think of it like this: 50 cm squared, which is 50 centi squared meter squared, which is 50 0 0.01 squared meter squared which is 50 0 0.0001 meter squared which is ah, 0.005 meter squared so I've converted from centimeter now into meter okay. now this is maybe not what you do in high school maybe your teacher said oh you just uh, divide by I don't even know what you divide by, 10,000 or something? Something like this? You see, I don't like this because you have so many things to remember. I like doing it in a process like this. Uh, so if you can write this down. Oh yeah, this is the final answer. Yeah, but just in this into this. Yeah, th I suppose if you wanted to, you could five zero zero meter squared. There's your three significant figures. Yeah. You don't count the zeros at yeah. the start. Yeah. yeah. Okay, he's not so so <laughs> strict. Uh, that would be acceptable. Okay. Yeah, because it feels a bit stupid to <laughs> do this. I know. Uh, okay. So the next thing now is to convert back. 
So let's say you start at 0 0.005 meters squared and you want to go back to centimeter. Now no, that's actually harder. Does anyone have any ideas on what we could do first? Yeah, like what, what should I do first to get it on its way to becoming back to centimeter squared? Any ideas? It's a there's a little trick. So what you could do, what do we have here? We have meter squared. What would we like? We'd like centimeter, centi squared, meter squared. So why not just put c squared here? Well, you can't just put a number in. So to cancel it, I would have to put a c squared here. Now is that balanced? Yeah. yeah. But this is really good because here, what is this? This is cm squared. So this is just 0 0.005 over 0 0.01 squared. Cm squared. Yeah, so uh, do, 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 do whatever that is. Let's just double check it. 0 0.05 to but No, that's not it. Yeah, 50. Wasn't it 50? Yeah. yeah. Good. Thank goodness. Uh, 50 uh, cm squared. So again, there's a little bit of a, a trick here in putting in the what we need on the top and the bottom. Is that okay? Yeah. Do you see what I'm doing here? It's like, for me, prefixes are just numbers. You know, you can, you can put one on the top, one at the bottom, you can cancel. I treat them like they're just numbers in math. Okay, let's continue. Oh, actually, that was the last example. Now, um, usually what I would do, like if we had a double class, is I would do two topics. But like I said, because of the first class, what I would like to do is to give you time to try your homework now. So what would be wonderful is if you could get all the homework done today and everything is okay and there's no problems and then you have no homework when you go home then. But starting next week, we won't have as much time in class for doing practice homework questions, okay? So if you look at your... your actually, I have my book here. Uh, if we look at the first homework on page 5... Now try not to look at the answers on the other page. Um, there's four questions there. You see them? I'd like you to try these now and I can help you. If you get stuck, just put up your hand. I'll, I'll come down and I'll help you. Uh, all four questions. And of course, if you like, you can work together or whatever.